Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ma. I, I think the first thing I'd like to convey is that the comfort women stories uh, generally propagated in this country are totally false. They are not true. For example, 200,000 people, that's not true. Forcible recruitment, that was not true. And, you know, say, uh, sex slaves, that is not true. So, uh, one example I would like to give today is that there is a book written by the uh, C. Sarah So, uh, professor of anthropology in this San Francisco State University. She wrote a, uh, on comfort women. Then she refers to the lady who spoke earlier, E. Yang Yong Su. Now, in the beginning, the first set testimony she said was, in the early morning, she and her friend quietly left home, went to comfort woman recruiter. Mr. Then, Mira, that's not what she said. Are you calling her a liar? Then let me finish. That's not what she said from... I'm saying what is written in this book. I'm not repeating what he, he, she said. I'm telling you, please read this book. They, then she was given a pair of shoes and red dress. She was delighted. So that is what is, said, is written in this book. So I, uh, I think you understand that to what extent ex-comfort women testimonies are based on, you know, say, or at least reliable. Now, general talk about this is, the, uh, this is for human rights, women's human rights. Now, some of the human rights uh, proponents are showing this picture. This was taken in Glendale. So, I do not believe any of this kind of activity is promoting for women's human rights. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. <laughs> Jazz hands, please. Um, thank you to Miho. Thank you, Grandma Lee. Uh, the next speaker is Miho Kim Lee. Thank you for building a broad coalition with the Comfort Women Coalition. Ms. Lee. Thank you for the opportunity. I urge you to support this resolution today. It's urgent because...